next speaker is Mr. Hukam for one minute, 30 seconds. You've got the floor, sir. Thank you, Madam President. During a recent trip to the Ukraine, I discovered that despite two revolutions, the democracy people crave is still elusive and the old establishment still clings to power. This situation creates three major problems. Firstly, the greatest obstacle to democracy is corruption. Now, this is endemic and seems to blight from what I saw and the people I spoke to, all levels of the political and judicial system. Secondly, there is the problem of political prisoners held as scapegoats for systemic failure. And finally, there are the Ukrainian people who continue to feel let down, disenfranchised and ignored by the political elite. But with rampant inflation, falling pensions and an average wage of only $200 a month and soaring energy prices eating into their salary, who can blame them? So it beggars belief that due to its obsessive expansionist policies and empire building, the EU continues to betray the ideas of the Maidan revolution by propping up a corrupt and uncaring government with nearly €2 billion Euros in loans. The fact is, despite protestations to the contrary from officials desperate to expand the EU's influence ever further east, particularly in one of the most oil and gas rich territories in the world, what the people of the Ukraine crave is independent democracy. Instead, they are being offered the new form of dictatorship which the EU represents.